Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Epsid. So in this video, I will uh, present the latest features uh, added uh, uh, on top of Flask uh, Vault dashboard. This is a quite popular open source project provided by us. And now the product supports uh, um, uh, social authentication using GitHub, and the feature is uh, is optional. Uh, and it's automatically enabled by, by the code base once the GitHub secrets ID and the secret key is provided in the environment file. So uh, the live demo has been also updated. Of course, we have here the social authentication uh, button for GitHub. The application works in uh, with the traditional uh, email and password uh, authentication, but uh, at the same time, we can use the um, uh, GitHub, our GitHub account to authenticate uh, in the in the application. So uh, other improvements uh, I will mention here are the improvements like uh, refactorized code base, clean up some links. Uh, also, Docker scripts uh, are now faster. And uh, in case anyone has the time and like the UI and the product, uh, the sources are um, are published on uh, on GitHub under the MIT license. MIT license uh, means that um, anyone can use the product to commercial uh, projects or simply for learning activities. Let's uh, clone the, the project and play a little bit with uh, with the app. Um, Let's go here. Clone. I will clone the application and uh, use the um, Docker scripts to to start the the project. I will uh, run the the Docker uh, script. Okay, first I will kill all other containers to just to, to make a, a cleanup uh, over my uh, over my Docker running containers and um, you don't have to do that. You just need to pass this command as uh, as listed on the um, on the project readme. Okay. Now the Docker setup um, will uh, set up the application for us, download the modules, compile all the necessary stuff and uh, run the migration and uh, bootstrap the application in less than one minute. Now we are good to go. We can see some successful um, messages in the, in the terminal. Let's uh, access the application in the browser. So. This is it, application is up and running. The GitHub authentication button is not present because the, um, the default uh, environment sample provided in the product uh, don't have the GitHub secrets. So uh, let's um, use the traditional email and password uh, authentication and uh, uh, access the application private pages. Now the account is created. So guys, the application is up and running, works as expected. So um, in case anyone um, needs support regarding this uh, this product, uh, feel free to access the support page, chat with us, send us an email or simply access the Discord the server. We have a super, super nice uh, community with more than 1000 members uh, and we are there to help the, the community to build their project faster. Thanks for watching guys, Adrian here from Epsid uh, and as always, I wish you all a super, super day. Bye guys.